एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ट्रबल फ्री इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट सम ऑफ सबसेट्स प्रॉब्लम इन द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ डिजाइन एंड एनालिसिस ऑफ एल्गोरिथम्स सो दिस दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वॉट इज सम ऑफ सबसेट प्रॉब्लम अलॉन्ग विद न्यूमेरिकल एग्जाम्पल ओके so first of all it is an application of backtracking method in the backtracking video itself i told you we have three applications and queens problem sum of subsets and graph coloring so in that sum of subsets is the second one in the previous video we already learned about n queens right so here what we are doing is we are generating subsets from a given set and when we add up the elements in the subset we have to get a particular sum that means for example you have a set like this a is equal to 10 20 30 40 we have four elements x1 x2 x3 x4 in this set okay and you will generate some subsets from this right you you can generate n number of subsets from here so you can generate like i think it's 2 power n the formula is like 2 power n so here what you have to do is you have to generate subsets so that the sum is equal to 50 okay the sum of elements which are present in the subset is equal to 50 here in this case we have a very small set which is having just four elements so you can directly do it by looking at the set but if your set is having more number of elements then what you will do in that case you need algorithms like this okay so by looking at the set what you can write you have two subsets 10 comma 40 and the other one is 20 comma 30 10 plus 40 is 50 and 20 plus 30 is 50 okay by looking at the set you can directly write it but if you want to use the sum of subsets algorithm then how you will solve this okay let us see now uh, let me change the book like this guys because it is going to be a tree and yeah so this will be more comfortable for us we have 10 20 30 40 and our sum is equal to 50 right so first let us start with a initial state that is by taking zero okay this is the initial state okay from here what we are going to do we are going to build a state space tree what a state space tree you will have all the possible outcomes in your state space tree which will lead to the solution right so what is our first thing let us take x1 is equal to 1 okay so if x1 is equal to 1 that means you are taking the first element okay first element is for sure you have taken first element for sure so what is 0 plus 10 what is your first element 10 so what is 0 plus 10 it is going to be 10 Ten is ten your required answer? No, fifty is your required answer, right? So you have to still keep doing. So from here you can get two scenarios. So let us do x two is equal to one. If you do x two is equal to one, that means you are considering your second element also. What is second element? Twenty. Twenty plus ten is how much? Thirty. Okay. If you consider second element, you are getting thirty. Next. X three is equal to one. If you take X three is equal to one, that means you are considering your third element also. So if you are considering your third element, that means thirty. Thirty plus thirty, you will get sixty. Is sixty is your required sum? No. That means you have to go back. Why? Because sixty already exceeded your required sum, which is fifty. So just go back. Okay. So from thirty. you are going to generate two scenarios now okay the first one x3 is equal to 1 is already generated next one is going to be x3 is equal to 0 if x3 is equal to 0 that means you are not considering this x3 that means you will get the same 30 as it is right but 30 is your required sum no so you are going to still further expand it so what you will get x4 is equal to 1 so what is x4 40 that means you are adding 40 to this 30 that means what you will get 70 is 70 your required sum no 50 is your required sum but 70 is exceeding so this is also cancel this is also cancel just go back 
so if you go back what is the another scenario here another situation possible x4 is equal to 0 so if x4 is equal to 0 that means you're not taking x4 okay if you're not taking x4 then 30 will be as it is is 30 your required sum no so what you will do again you will go back so you you have come back to 30 so from 30 two scenarios are possible x4 is equal to 1 x4 is equal to 0 both of them failed right now again go back one more step if you go back one more step okay so here what is going to happen so here 30 from 30 also we have two scenarios x3 is equal to 1 x3 is equal to 0 both we have checked so 30 also failed go back to 10 okay from 10 what you can do from 10 what you took you took x2 is equal to 1 but x2 is equal to 0 you have not taken yet right so take it x2 is equal to 0 if you take x2 is equal to 0 what will happen you're not considering the second element you're taking only the first element that means you will get the same 10 as it is okay but is 10 your required sum no so further divide it so how can you further divide it you can divide it as x3 is equal to 1 so if x3 is equal to 1 what is x3 30 right what is 10 plus 30 40 so 40 is your required sum no so further divide it so if you further divide it what you will get x4 is equal to 1 so x4 is equal to 1 x4 is equal to 1 means what you are considering x4 that is you are considering 40 so 40 plus 40 80 so 80 is also not required done killed so here 30 is also gone so now what you have to do go back if you come back here so from here you have two possibilities x4 is equal to 1 x4 is equal to 0 you already checked x4 is equal to 1 so now what you have to check you have to check for x4 is equal to 0 if you check what you will get x4 is equal to 0 means you are not considering the fourth element right so then what you will get here the same 40 you will get so is 40 a required sum no cancel it out so again go back to this node so from this node you take you checked both the possibilities you checked x4 is equal to 1 you checked x4 is equal to 0 now go more back why more back because for this node you have already checked both the possible scenarios right so you are going more back now if you go more back what will happen here what you will get x3 is equal to 1 is already checked so you are taking x3 is equal to 0 okay so if you take x3 is equal to 0 then you are not considering the third element right so you will write this 10 as it is okay now from this you have two more scenarios what are those x4 is equal to 1 uh, let me write here x4 is equal to 1 and yeah if x4 is equal to 1 that means you are considering this 40 if you are considering this 40 what the sum will become 10 plus 40 you will get 50 yes you have reached your destination okay perfect now since I said backtracking can have multiple solutions so here also there is a possibility of having multiple solutions right so now what you're doing let's go back here and from this one more possible scenario is x4 is equal to 0 right so if you take x4 is equal to 0 what you will get you are not considering 40 so you will get the same 10 as it is no this is not possible okay now again go back here okay this is the root node of this one right so you're going back here from this already two conditions are checked so you're going back here so here also two conditions are already checked so you are going back to the root node so you are going back until and unless two conditions are checked if the both the conditions are not checked at any node you are stopping at that node you are checking for conditions and then you are again doing your algorithm okay so we went back to root node so from the root node what you can do now uh, shall we do it on separate page no that's that's fine otherwise yeah, i'll do like this otherwise see so this is our root node right so from root node x1 is equal to 1 i already checked so what is the next scenario x1 is equal to 0 so let's do that here for space constraint so x1 is equal to 0 x1 is equal to 0 means you are not considering the first element 
okay that means you will get the same zero okay from here how many possibilities you have you have first you will take for the first possibility x2 is equal to 1 so if x2 is equal to 1 that means that you are considering the second element what is your second element 20 you are taking 20 again from 20 is 20 your, your required sum no your required sum is 50 so from 20 you will get another scenario that is x3 is equal to 1 okay so if x3 is equal to 1 means you are considering the third element also that means you are adding 30 to this 20 if you add 30 what you will get 50 okay done you got your second solution also actually you have to do it here only but since there is no space i've done it here guys okay so this is your complete state space tree which explains you the two possible solutions so by looking at the set initially we said we have two possible solutions and we, i represented both those possible solutions using backtracking algorithm also okay so this is how backtracking algorithm is gonna work so that's all about this video guys i'm sorry for the background disturbance um thanks for watching the video till the end if you have enjoyed my content if you liked if you understood what i explained hit the like button and also consider subscribing to my channel thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up soon in the next coming video